Microwavable instant rice loves to fall over in the microwave, if you're me, that is. And like me, you've probably struggled with keeping the package upright. As it turns out, the flaps that fold out from the bottom create a nice sturdy base. Push them out and give it a try. Hey, why didn't I learn this in school? Has that half-finished 2-liter bottle of soda left over from pizza night gone flat? Rather than pouring it down the drain, add it to your compost heap. The sugar feeds good microorganisms and increases the acidity of the pile, helping organic material break down faster. Any pair of scissors will go blunt sooner or later, but don't let that stop you. There's a product in your kitchen that can help bring them back to life fast. Mm. Aluminum foil isn't just for leftover lasagna. Fold a sheet of it into quarters and start cutting. Cutting through the foil will sharpen those scissors right up, but not if they're too blunt. Rescue them while there's still time. Those little escalator brushes aren't there to clean your shoes, even though they can do a rather good job. These bristles are actually a serious safety feature. Without them, Clothes, shoelaces, and bags can get caught in them when they're too close to the sides. The little brushes are also there to tickle you, to remind you to look down and take care. Hey, I always thought it was a bug rubbing up against me. Half belts. Seriously, what's up with those things? Well, some military jackets used to double as blankets, and the half belt helped keep the extra material from getting in the soldier's way. Nowadays, they're mostly used as a fashion accessory. Accidentally stapling the wrong pages together is like the worst thing ever. Well, there are worse things, but it's certainly annoying. Especially if the staple takes out a huge piece of your document with it when you try to pry it off. There's actually a simple way to make sure that the stapler pins are less tight and easier to pull out. Take a close look at that metal plate at the front of your stapler, known as the anvil. Turn the stapler upside down and adjust the settings. You're basically changing the stapler setting to temporary. No more tears, no more tears. Mention my name and you'll get a good seat. Toilet seat covers have been used wrong for way too long. I see you ripping off that flap that looks like a tongue. No, you're doing it all wrong. Instead of tearing it off, let the flap sit in the bowl after you put it down the cover. When you flush, the suction will pull on the flap and take it away. Aren't you glad you know that now? That dark square or rectangle at the end of your toothpaste tube? What does that mean? Is it color-coded to show what ingredients are in there? Or does it show whether the toothpaste is synthetic or natural? Well, sorry, but the truth isn't that exciting. The markings are there for the assembly machines. They help the machines know where to cut and fold each tube. We've all driven home from the supermarket, taken a right turn a little too hard, and crashed! Sounds like the groceries volcano just erupted in the trunk. Look closely in the trunk. You might see some little hooks in there. You can hang your bags on them. Ooh. Yeah, some cars have them behind the front seats instead. You can use them to hang clothes or even your takeout bag. You may have noticed that members of the flight crew like to touch the overhead compartments while they're walking down the aisle. They don't have a weird desire to touch everything. There are actually handles along the edges to give them a better grip while walking. Go ahead and use them the next time you feel like a mid-air stroll. It's definitely better than grabbing onto everyone's headrests. Don't you hate that? A shiny brass doorknob adds just the right amount of fancy to your front door. But that's not all it does. Brass, like anything with copper alloy in it, has antimicrobial properties that many harmful germs and bacteria just can't stand. In high-traffic areas, these brass knobs and handles are the perfect way to get rid of those nasty germs without having to use harsh chemicals all the time. The only downside is that brass is a lot more expensive than other metals. That might be why it's hardly used for this anymore. Does your toothbrush have a pattern of blue bristles weaved in with the white ones? It makes the toothbrush look a lot more stylish. But it's not just about looking good. Those bristles actually have a practical purpose. The blue dye is designed to wear off, around the same time as when you should replace your toothbrush. You should be switching out your toothbrush every 3-4 to months anyway. But those blue bristles are there to give you a gentle nudge, just in case you forget. 
Now, you walk over them every day and never think about it twice. But is there a reason maintenance hole covers are always round? In past civilizations, like ancient Rome, these covers used to be square-shaped slabs of stone. But all those edges and gaps led to plenty of stubbed toes and accidents for unsuspecting Romans. A round cover eliminated the problem. Plus, it meant you could only open it with a specialized tool. Probably a good idea. The thermos was invented by a Scottish scientist, but not for keeping his coffee warm. He just wanted to keep some chemicals at a stable temperature. He placed a small bottle inside of a larger one and then sucked all the air out from between the two bottles. The same technique is used to make the modern thermos. You can find a pincushion in just about every household. And strangely, it's always in the shape of a tomato. Ever wondered about that little strawberry dangling from the top? I'm no biologist, but I'm quite sure that strawberries don't grow on tomatoes. That little thing's for the needle you're currently using, so you don't lose it in that big pile you have. Stick deodorants go to waste when the casing starts rubbing against your skin, but there's still plenty left in there. Here's an easy trick to get it out. Unscrew the bottom and push it up from underneath. That'll give you a few more days at least. So grocery carts have loops for a reason. You don't want to put your jacket in your cart next to a bunch of potatoes and onions, do you? Hang it on the loop instead. It's there to help you organize your cart better. Carts also have a cool section at the bottom. Whenever your cart's full, just lift it up and attach a shopping basket for extra purchases. Lift up the whole metal thing, sit your basket on the horizontal bar above the wheels, and secure it with those handy hooks. If you've got some pesky parsley stuck in your teeth, Try this tip. It can be hard to get it all out with loose floss. You need more tension. Just tie it in a knot. Toothpaste stripes may seem a bit weird. It's just a marketing trick. Back in the 70s, a leading toothpaste brand added a blue stripe to show that their toothpaste had double action. Solid white toothpaste worked just as well. But those blue bristles on your toothbrush actually make sense they gradually lose their color over time. When the blue's faded, it's time to change your toothbrush. Ever notice that tiny hole on the bottom of a padlock? Its hidden purpose is to drain water out to keep it from rusting. It's also the place to lubricate a padlock. A drop of oil in there will make it open and close way easier. Those ridges on the edge of dimes aren't just for show. People used to shave off the edges, then melt the edges down into new coins. But thanks to the new design, it's easy to tell if someone's been shaving the edges off. If you still struggle with peeling an orange, here's another way of opening it. First, cut off the top and bottom. Make a slit on the side and pull it open. That knobbly bit sticking out of the cap of your favorite cream is there for a reason. These tubes are usually sealed with foil. So unless you love breaking your nails trying to open them, just flip the cap over and push. The tiny rubber disc under every bottle cap isn't just for seeing if you want a lifetime supply of soda. It's what keeps your drink all nice and bubbly. The lid keeps the liquid inside. The rubber disc keeps the gas inside. Until you drink it. (laughs) If you use the blue side of your eraser to erase pen, Your notebooks are probably all full of holes. The blue side's there for when you need to erase something on much thicker paper. It works on pencil and even ink, as long as the paper's thick enough. Your bobby pins might not stay in place if the grooves aren't facing the right way. They should always be on the bottom, close to your head. Still coming loose? Put a squeeze of hairspray right onto the bobby pin before you put it in your hair. Many glass bottles usually have some sort of indent at the bottom. It's handy if you want to be fancy. Put your thumb in the indent and pour away. The technical name for this little dude is a punt. Those sugar sticks at your local coffee stand are ready to be opened in a new and easier way. Look how happy they are! Try splitting it right down the middle. No more sugar on your fingers, no more tiny little paper bit, even your coffee's happier. Your cotton rounds pack has those strings on it, so you can hang it on a handy hook in the bathroom. 
But there's no need to loosen and tighten back up again every time. Check out the bottom of the pack. It has a perforated line. Tear it open carefully and you're good to go. Doorknobs are usually made of brass, bronze, or some other copper alloy. Why? They're antibacterial, so they stop microbes from spreading. Just a couple of hours and the pesky microbes are gone. But don't forget to wash your hands anyway! Bottles have long necks for a reason. Hold the neck, not the bottle, if you want to enjoy a cold drink. Two zips too much? Maybe, but they come in handy as a clever anti-theft device. Just lock them together. Now no one can open your backpack. Don't have a lock on you? You can also tie them together with some string or even just a paper clip. Anything to slow those pickpockets down. That tiny little button on the back of a shirt collar is used to hold your tie in place. You don't want your tie trying to escape back there. Shoe manufacturers care about their customers. So most running shoes now have a special anti-blister system pre-installed. Hmm. Sounds intense, but it's basically just that extra hole on top of your sneakers. Make a loop with the extra hole, inserting the lace backwards. Cross your laces and put them through the loops. Now pull the laces down to lock your foot in place. Now run! You'll find silica gel packets when you buy bags, shoes, even some snacks. Don't throw them away! They soak up excess moisture, so any times your shoes are a bit damp, chuck a few gel packets in there overnight. You might have been using your shampoo wrong this whole time. Really? Here's the gist. Don't apply it to your hair. Just apply it to the roots. The foam you create will trickle down on your hair anyway. Notebook margins aren't for taking extra notes or practicing emojis. They were invented to protect people's work. People used to live with a lot of hungry rats around. The rats would nibble at the paper, eating people's work. They put the margin lines there to let people know to start their writing further from the edge so it's not lost to a hungry rodent. Solo cups are the key element for any barbecue party. But these red cups are even cooler than you thought. You can use them to measure liquids. The bottom line equals 1 ounce, the second line equals 5 ounces, And the third line equals 12 ounces. Road and construction workers are usually dressed in orange because the bright orange hue is visible even in bad weather. It's the most effective color to attract attention and alert people. No wonder lots of safety jackets and traffic cones are orange as well. The stop sign has an eight-sided shape to help drivers recognize it easily, even if they see it from the back. And when the signs weren't reflective yet, the octagon shape prevented drivers from confusing the stop sign with any other at night. The rumble strips on the side of the road are placed there to alert drivers who doze off behind the wheel. When their tires move over these strips, the noise and vibration work like an alarm clock. There are magnetic locks on fuel hoses at gas stations. They come in handy if someone drives away with the gas nozzle still attached to their car. In this case, the lock detaches the hose automatically. Oh, that's embarrassing. Gasoline looks like a rainbow in a puddle because it can't mix with water. It forms a thin membrane over it. When light reflects from it and the water at the same time, you've got a rainbow. A triple handle on a jerry can is there to make it easier for two people to carry it and distribute fuel evenly. Gas cans often have a second hole that actually needs to be uncapped too before you pour the gas. The air passage will prevent it from pouring out, so no more fuel waste. Most gas cans have two holes with caps, a bigger and a smaller one. You're supposed to uncap the smaller hole before pouring gas inside the bigger one. It'll prevent the liquid from glugging and spilling all over your clothes and the ground. Another little thingy we often neglect is a point on an ointment cap. Most tubes are usually sealed with a plastic film or foil, and opening it with your fingernails isn't the best idea. A point easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. You can use most screwdrivers together with a wrench to create more torque. Just place the wrench over the handle of the screwdriver. This way, you'll need to apply a lot less force than before. You'll also be able to get to -to hard-to-reach areas more easily. They install cameras in shops, banks, and hospitals to monitor everything. If something happens, you can call the police or rescuers. 
The camera really helps to solve a lot of problems. Why are there no cameras on planes? The crew keep order on the plane, but they won't be able to do anything if something serious happens. Besides, there's nowhere to run on the plane. During the flight, the cameras are useless, and after the flight, the words of the passengers work ideally instead of cameras. So, if cameras do no good, then why spend money on them? Water is great at cleaning stuff because it has triangular molecules. They're made of one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms, um, H2O. Such molecules have slightly different charges on their opposite sides, pretty much like magnets. That's why water easily sticks to other molecules, including those that make up dirt. Lots of private houses have triangular-shaped roofs because this allows rain, snow, and fallen leaves to slide off the slope. If all this stuff piled up on top of your house, one day your roof would collapse. When a storm is coming, clouds seem to turn dark, but it's just an illusion. Thin clouds on a sunny day let the light through easily. They also scatter all the colors of the light spectrum. This makes us perceive the clouds as white, but the thicker the clouds are and the more water droplets they contain, the less light they let through and the darker they look. A good doorknob is the one made of brass, bronze, or some copper alloys. These metals have an anti-germ effect. Bacteria spread way slower on them. They also get rid of germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. Nope, it doesn't mean you don't have to wash your hands. Diamonds have such symmetrical shape to show you their brilliance. Initially, the gems aren't so beautiful. They go through several stages of cutting and then become pieces of elegance. Most of these stones have a round shape with slightly pointed corners. Diamonds shine the brightest in this shape. Why are there two holes in the socket? The left hole is neutral, the right hole is not, and the gap underneath is ground. Electricity needs to flow through the chain. The current flows from the hot slot, passes through your phone charger, for example, and then goes through the neutral hole. Ever wondered what that small pocket on your jeans is for? People used to wear watches on chains. That small pocket was meant for it. Now, almost no one wears such a watch, but the pocket remains. You can still keep something small in there, like a ring. In London, there are some poles that look like street lamps, but there are no bulbs. Well, their official name is stink pipes, and they're a thing of the past now, but they used to come in handy back in the 19th century. These hollow poles would vent away the air and explosive gases with bad smells to prevent, shall we say, unwanted consequences. Most kitchen shears have metal plier-like teeth in the middle. Between the handle grips, they can help you crack nuts, crab shells, and other tough products. You can also open jars and bottles or remove herb stems with their help. That little button at the end of your seatbelt seems like it's way out of place. In fact, it's there to ensure your buckle will always remain at the end. So you won't have to awkwardly fiddle with your seatbelt every time you put it on. You're in a new car or a rental, and the gauge tells you the gas is getting low. You don't know which side the fuel cap is on from the inside. It can cause unnecessary effort at the gas station. However, your fuel gauge has an arrow that reminds you which side to fill your gas tank up from. Some models of cars may also have a gas tank hose instead, with the hose pictured on the side that the cap is on. Hiking and walking through snow requires the best kind of footwear. The shoes which are perfect for this also have an extra eyelet for your lace to loop through. Looping your laces through the extra eyelets will give more support for your ankles and feet and will provide more stability as you walk. But as you walk, blisters are also a concern. The sweat in your shoe creates friction between the feet and the shoe, which then helps create the blisters. Antiperspirant that you use for your armpits will help keep the feet from sweating. Just make sure you use the clear one. Cooking for people is always nice. However, sometimes the guests are late. Yep, we're all guilty of that sometimes, right? The extra drawer under your oven where you've been keeping all of your spare pots and pans was actually made to keep your food warm. Great for those who are late to the meal. Ever wondered how long that padlock could possibly last when it's outside, in the rainy weather, keeping your bike safe? It has a little hole at the bottom of it. It's there to drain water to avoid corrosion on the inside. It also serves to provide oil, 
further prolonging its use. That hole in the elevator door isn't there to check who's inside so you can avoid sharing a ride with specific people. It's a keyhole in case it breaks down. Ketchup, sauce bottles, and all other condiments we love all have a stage when it's difficult to get the insides out. You try hitting it, shaking it, and poking things inside to encourage the tasty condiments to come out. Luckily, there is an easier way to do it. The label at the top suggests where to tap the bottle. The sauce will come out easier and smoother, allowing gravity to take the place of frustration. The purpose of wooden coat hangers is to help repel pesky insects and avoid fungal growth that eats away at your clothing. As it's made of cedar wood, it contains oils that have insecticidal and fungicidal properties and were used as far back as the ancient Egyptians, although they used it for other purposes. We've all been trained and tested at the art of typing and know the correct way to use a keyboard. But you may not have noticed that the F and J keys have a small ridge at the bottom. They're there to help you find your correct starting place with your fingers on the keyboard, without having to look down. If you've been lucky enough to get the window seat on the plane, you would have noticed that little hole at the bottom of the window. It helps with the air pressure on the plane. The window itself is made from acrylic and isn't actually glass, which saves it from fogging up so you can see the scenery on your journey. The windows on planes were originally square, however, they would continuously break from the constant changes in pressure. Round windows are able to evenly distribute the pressure, ensuring you'll have a pleasant journey without falling out. For all you Nintendo Switch players, those who have tried to taste your cartridges will notice they have a bitter taste. The manufacturers added it intentionally, as the Switch's cartridge size is very small and it might be a hazard for the youngest players that have a tendency to put things in their mouth that they shouldn't. So the bitter taste made from denatonium benzoate ensures that they won't be tasted for too long. Cosmetics containers that are filled with products used for your skin have a secret number on them. This is to help inform you how long the product will be usable, ensuring it doesn't cause the reverse effect by damaging your skin instead. Pen lids have a hole at the end of them. It's not there to help your pen breathe and boost performance, but it's there to help you breathe. Just in case while you're sitting in class or at work and you're chewing on your lid and just happen to swallow it, you can be rest assured if it's stuck, the pen makers were thinking of you. We all know about these little pockets on jeans where people used to keep their pocket watches. But what about these small metal buttons? They help hold the fabric together. Weavers put the buttons where the jeans can tear during moving and straining. These small holes on some backpacks were designed to tie extra gear to them, so you can pass ropes through them and tie sneakers if you don't want to keep them inside your backpack or in your hands. This tiny dot next to the camera on your iPhone is a microphone. It helps to get good quality of sound while taking a video. The spotlight feature on your Mac can be used not only for a quick search of files and apps, it also works as a calculator. Just type in a mathematical problem you need to solve. Spotlight also uses internal dictionary data. Enter any word in the search bar, and you can get information about it. You've just bought a new bottle of oil. You're taking off the lid and looking at this little cork that you can tear off by pulling the loop. Take this thing out, but don't throw it in the trash. Put it back in an upside-down position to control the pour's flow by pressing your finger against it. Tiny ridges on the F and J keys on the keyboard help your fingers navigate during touch typing. When your index fingers are on these ridges, you know exactly where other letters are. The brushes on the sides of the escalators are not for polishing your shoes, but for your safety. These nylon bristles prevent your laces and clothes from getting inside the escalator's gears. Now, that wouldn't be good. Most door handles are made of brass. This type of metal is good for fighting microbes. Bacteria can't multiply that much on such surfaces. These public toilet's cubicles don't look private for a reason. Huge gaps at the bottom were created to make you want to get out of there as soon as possible. Thanks to this design, there are almost no cubes. 
you can use a plastic lid from soda cups as a coaster. It has the perfect shape to hold your drink and keep a table surface from getting wet. Don't turn the lid upside down. Just put it on the table the same way it was on the cup. If you're stuck in a car during an accident and can't open the doors, you can use bars from the detachable headrest to break the window and get out. Remember those small plastic discs under the bottle lids? This little thing helps preserve vacuum inside bottles, keeping soda in a fizzy state. You've probably watched food heating in a microwave at least once in your life. Exciting, I know! But why do the developers make the door so dark? This black film is necessary to block electromagnetic fields. Tiny dots on padlocks next to the keyhole are designed to dry out the moisture if water gets inside the lock. Also, if the lock gets jammed or starts to rust, you can pour oil into it through this hole to fix the problem. A golf ball is covered with tiny craters for good aerodynamics. They're called dimples, and this design helps the ball fly further and more evenly. Some mugs have a little groove at the outside of the bottom. It helps water flow out and prevents it from accumulating when the cup is in the dishwasher. Sunglasses were first used not to protect your eyes from the sun. They use such glasses during Arctic expeditions. A huge amount of snow can blind you just like a bright flash. To save their eyes, they came up with these unique glasses. You can use any t-shirt not only for dressing, but also as a protective layer for your luggage. Just put your clothes on your suitcase as a cover and don't waste time plastic wrapping it. A button on the back of the shirt collar is there to keep your tie under the collar. Yes, people don't use it as intended because all ties are thinner now. But this button is still there as a decorative function. And here's the initial purpose of a tie. They created it in the 17th century Europe to tighten the collar. This way, people protected their necks from a strong wind. Then, they got used to this part of the outfit and made it a must-have accessory for royal gatherings. Soft pom-poms on hats were first invented several centuries ago. Sailors used them to avoid hitting their heads against low ship ceilings and ledges. They make most clothes hangers from cedar wood, since it contains many natural oils repelling moths that love to eat your clothes. A light bulb is spherical because such a shape allows the light to distribute evenly. Also, such light bulbs are cheaper and easier to produce. Ever found these pieces of fabric and new clothes? They're not just patches, but also testing subjects to use before washing. You can put this piece in the washing machine and see what happens to it. If everything is fine, then you can safely put your clothes in. Your ceiling fan has two modes of work, winter and summer. You need to find the switch on it. Push it up to activate the winter mode and down for the summer one. In summer mode, the fan pushes the air down. It pulls the air up in winter. Most people have this round plunger in the bathroom. In movies, they use those to eliminate a blockage in the toilet. In fact, the plunger is to get rid of a blockage in the sink. For the toilet, you need another special device. The extra space under your oven is not for keeping pans and pots. You can put some dishes there. The heat of the stove will keep your meals warm. It's useful if you're waiting for friends late for dinner. Most metallic zippers have a hidden lock inside them to save them from awkward situations, such as an undone fly. Don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. When you pull it downwards, it automatically locks. It's all thanks to those tiny grooves hidden underneath the handle. Bath foam isn't only for fun or a nice smell. It also helps regulate the temperature. The bubbles keep the water hot, so you can enjoy a bath a bit longer. Anyway, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat really fast either way. Escalator brushes aren't for keeping your shoes clean and polished. It might be tough to apply wax right on that brush while the escalator's moving. It's for our safety. Brushes won't let you come close to the edge, so a long coat or boot-cut jeans won't end up in between the steps. Originally, golf balls were smooth. They have a dimpled surface now because players noticed that overused balls with damages flew better than brand new ones. At some point, manufacturers started producing balls with dimples. If you take a box of aluminum foil, you'll see tabs you can press on the side. 
they keep the foil straight and prevent it from rolling. It's also easier to tear off some amount of foil thanks to those tabs. Jerry cans have three handles for a reason. It's a smart designer move, so when you carry it alone, you use only the central handle to distribute the weight evenly. But your friend wants to help you out. Each of you grabs the side handle. Two flat prongs you can see on standard plugs used in North and Central America make sense. But how about those holes near the tips? Thanks to them, the outlet firmly grips the plug so that it won't loosen or fall out of the socket. It's sometimes irritating when you haven't used the entire stick of deodorant. There's a little bit more left, but it's hard to reach it. Okay, the trick is easy. Unscrew the bottom, take a pencil, and force it underneath that moving platform. That way, you'll push what's left of the deodorant out. There's a number put on the side of many cosmetic products. It isn't picked randomly. It tells you how long your product will last after you've opened it. This is why it has an open jar for a graphic symbol. A lint roller is good at removing those tiny fibers, but you can also use it to clean other stuff. For example, when you want to remove the dirt from the utensil tray in your dishwasher, simply take your sticky lint roller and put it into each compartment, and all the crumbs, dirt, and leftovers are all gone. Kings depicted on playing cards are real historical characters. Spades, King David. Clubs, Alexander the Great. Hearts, Charles the Great. Diamonds, Julius Caesar. Rings used to be more than a stylish accessory. The nobility used rings as a seal. Archers wore rings to protect their fingers from bowstring injuries, while needlewomen from needle pricks. Detachable headrests in cars are all about safety. If you pull it out of a seat, you'll see two pretty sturdy bars. If you ever get locked or trapped in a car, you can get out of there smashing the window with these bars. A little arrow next to the refueling indicator on the car's dashboard indicates which side of the vehicle has fuel tank openings. It's useful when you need to refuel a rented car. You are probably using shampoo wrong all the time. Well, the main thing you should know is that you don't apply it directly on your hair. You gotta apply it onto the roots only. The foam that you make is enough to clean your hair. A button on the reverse side of a shirt collar is needed to hold a tie in place. Anyway, this button was designed for slim ties that are not that popular today, so this button is only an element of design. A cotton pads pack has those strings on it to hang it on some hook or holder. There's no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom, it has a perforated line. Tear along it and just pull out a cotton pad from a hanging pack. It's a myth that the red side of the eraser is for pencil and the blue one is for ink. The blue gets rid of mistakes on thicker types of paper only. It works both for pencil and even ink, but make sure the paper is really thick. But that blue little thing can do so much more. It can polish your jewelry, clean your electronics. For example, the screen of your cell phone. You know those irritating sticker residues that won't peel off? Eraser helps there too. Same as with cleaning scuffed up suede or dirt you have on your walls. There's no need to tear one of its edges on stick sachets. The right way is to tear them down the middle. You say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. A small V patch at the bottom of the collar helps put on the sweater without losing any shape over time because it's made of a double layer of webbing material, just like waistbands and cuffs. To avoid spilling juice right onto your t-shirt, try pouring it from the other side of the carton. This way, it sloshes less and it's easier to control. The metal tab on soda cans can be flipped around. You can slip a straw in place so you don't have to hold it up to your mouth. This stay-on tab replaced the pull ring tab created in the early 60s. You uh, remember those, don't you? Those could be quite sharp and easily discarded where they could be a menace for others. Now you can pop your straw straight into one. Also means you can produce some bubbles and make a mess. Sometimes when you purchase an article of clothing, you receive a plastic baggie with an extra button and a swash of fabric. While the fabric is clearly used to patch holes, it can also be used to test the effects of various cleaners on certain surfaces. It's handy, too, to test wash cycles before using them to wash the whole garment. And if you want to clean your nose with it, that suggestion never came from me. You can use a screwdriver for leverage if you're having trouble lifting or moving something. Some also have a hexagonal shape handle that fits inside a wrench or spanner. 
You can use it to improve torque and, again, for leverage. A little easier on your hands. Some of us aren't that strong. Or maybe that's just me. Rubber bands are great for many things, but if you have a bottle that's hard to open, you can wrap the band around it for a better grip. Escalators have those fluffy black brushes for a similar reason that some have yellow lines on their steps. To try and deter people from getting too close to dangerous places. People don't always take notice, and sometimes clothing can drape close to a point where the step meets the edge or skirt. The brush is a little barrier to help prevent this from happening. They can also catch bits of fluff and prevent other small things from falling down into the gaps. Your average pair of jeans has several features that are both functional and somewhat sentimental. The metal rivets around the pockets help secure the stress points. This ensures they last a bit longer than average, though not all jeans have them. Many still have a tiny pocket directly above the main pocket. This was originally meant to hold a pocket watch. Even though pocket watches are mostly a thing of the past, many people still use this space to store coins, rings, or even a portable USB. Now, this may seem a little obvious, but if you've ever wondered what all the notches are in a car tire, it's for traction on the road. However, there are also a good indicator if your tire is getting too worn down. If those notches aren't so deep anymore and are almost flush with the road, it's time to replace them. If you don't, the next time you try to stop suddenly at a stop sign, you might be surprised to find your car has turned into a giant roller skate. Those takeaway containers most associated with Chinese restaurants are designed to not only carry your food home, but to store them in the fridge. They double as a plate, as you can eat straight out of them and don't have to worry about dirty dishes. Yay! They were actually patented way back in 1894 to transport freshly shucked oysters and were known as oyster pails. They were later adapted to use as leak-proof containers for food. While you're sitting on an airplane and looking out the window, you may have noticed those little holes, or in some instances, a small singular opening near the bottom. This is called a breather hole, and no, it's not for you. It's designed to equalize the difference in air pressure which builds up between the pressurized cabin and the atmosphere outside, especially during high altitudes. It also releases moisture from between the panes to avoid frost from forming on the windows and obstructing that all-important view. Sorry, but it looks like you won't be drawing a smiley face on it anytime soon. This was first introduced way back in 1956 by a company in Japan. Pretty cool, huh? They got their inspiration from snap-off rows on chocolate bars. Just don't get the two mixed up. One doesn't taste good. When it comes to measuring tape, almost every reel has an empty slot in the metallic end. This is called a nail grab, so you can attach it to a nail or screw. A handy trick to do measurements without requiring someone else to hold it in place. Ooh, very nifty. Bobby pins have grooves on one side to hold your hair in place better. Crazy notion, huh? The straight side goes face up, while the grooves go down against your head. They're called bobby pins because of the bobbed hairstyle, which was popular in the 1920s, though the pins were invented in the 19th century. The look is gone, but the pins remain. Please take them out before you wash your hair, as they don't look great stuck to your fingers. Next time you're getting ready for work, take a closer look at your go-to shirt. Every buttonhole is stitched vertically, but check out the very last hole. It's stitched horizontally, right? This is because the bottom part of your shirt endures the most stress from pulling, as it's where your hips are. So that horizontal buttonhole isn't a mistake, it's put there to stop your shirt ripping as your hips move. That layer of bubbles that forms when you add bubble bath to your tub isn't just for fun. The bubbly layer also acts as insulation and keeps your bath warmer for longer. The pom-pom on top of your beanie wasn't put there as a fashion accessory. The pom-pom was originally added to the hat to prevent sailors banging their heads on the ceilings of the ships that were too low. Crackers have holes in them to stop them cracking and breaking during baking. 
If the holes weren't there, steam would build up inside the cracker and make it collapse. Those numbers on stickers they put on oranges aren't random. If there are four digits and the first is three or four, this means the fruit has been made with conventional farming techniques. Five numbers beginning with an eight means the fruit has been genetically modified. Five numbers beginning with a nine means the fruit is organic. Margins on paper aren't for writing in dates and numbering lists. They were originally added to serve a protective function. Back in the day, rats used to be a pesky problem in people's homes, and paper was one of their favorite snacks. Margins were added as a safeguard, so that the rats would nibble on blank paper rather than taking a bite out of your important work. If you put your Chinese takeout on a plate when it arrives, you're doing more work than you should. Much like the paper condiment pots in fast food restaurants, your cardboard Chinese takeout box can be unfolded to create the perfect size plate for your food. The long neck on your soda bottle is designed like that to encourage you to hold it there. That way, the heat from your hand will only warm that top bit of the bottle instead of heating up your whole drink. Why does a lapel have a buttonhole with no matching button? Originally, coats and jackets did have a corresponding button so that the wearer could turn up the collar and fasten it around the neck to keep warm. Over time, people stopped doing this, and the button was removed. But many suitmakers still keep the non-functioning traditional buttonhole. It's always hard to see your food in the microwave because of that pesky black grate on the window. But it's there to stop harmful microwaves escaping called the Faraday Shield. It protects you as well as ensures that your food cooks properly. That random diamond on your backpack is called a lash tab or pig snout. It's there so you can thread cords through the holes to carry extra gear. Perfect for camping or long hikes. Golf balls are covered in dimples, rather than being perfectly round, so that the ball can fly through the air more smoothly, decreasing the drag and allowing it to travel further and faster. Your makeup pads have two different sides for a reason. The bumpy side is used for applying makeup, while the flat side is for removing it. Donuts have holes so that the inside and outside cook evenly. Before the holes were added, the inside would often be greasy and doughy, while the outside was crisp. Your Apple laptop charger has tiny legs that can be folded out, and they're not there so your charger can stand up. These legs, when unfolded, allow you to wrap the cable around and then clamp it into place, securing it and preventing the cable getting tangled or damaged. Now take a look at a soda bottle, and you'll notice a disc inside the bottle cap. This helps seal in the liquid and the drink's fizz, stopping it from going flat. That hole in your hollow lollipop stick isn't to prevent choking, should it ever be swallowed. It's actually there to keep the candy in place. Excess candy flows into the hollow tube and the hole, which, when it hardens, keeps the pop in place. If it was a smooth stick, the candy would slide off easily. The zipper on leather biker jackets is often sewn diagonally. It's not just a fashion statement. Zips that are stitched vertically can bunch up if the wearer leans forward, but a diagonal zipper won't. That little triangle on your gas gauge is there to let you know which side of the car your gas cap is on. Now, you'll never pull up to the wrong side of the pump in a rental car again. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. Those tiny holes in the chocolate box tray actually serve a function. Push the hole near the candy and it'll pop straight out with you having to get your hands dirty. How thoughtful! Some skyscrapers have hollow floors that can contain nothing but an elevator. It's actually a way to get around height limits. Some skyscrapers are given a limit to the number of floors they can have. Because the hollow floors are empty, they add to the height of the building and make it look more impressive without increasing the number of floors and breaking the building contract. These hollow floors also help to prevent the spread of fires. Women's shirt buttons are traditionally on the left for a reason. Back in the day, it was a sign of wealth, as it signified that a chambermaid had dressed you, as having the buttons on the left made it easier for them to do up the shirt. Your cuticles serve a purpose, so think before you get rid of them. The small area of skin is there to protect your nails from infection. Without it, bacteria and fungi can get in.
That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.